Before we get started, make sure that you are subscribed to all the dorky diggity goodness on the channel. And if you want to see more, click on that notification button. Now enjoy the video. Learn a little something. Take a lesson. Learn it all. Welcome back, guys, to Doctor Doom. Massive Fury Stack Rotation Explained. And you want to see exactly how we do this right here with all this massive damage and all this massive incinerate tick damage? What? Let's get into it. So if you have a Doctor Doom and you want to get those two Furies stacked up for that massive 8,411 attack boost, well, at least in my case with a rank 2 6 star Doom, then here's the best way to get there consistently and without Mystic Dispersion. Now you're gonna need these things. One, a mastery of the block parry. Re-parry, shadow parry, pink berry, whatever you wanna call it, where you parry after the initial block. Number two, the perfect block synergy, which will allow you to increase your stun time and gain seven hit combos. And three, and most importantly, an understanding of Doom's mechanics. Now, with those things in mind, let's go ahead and get started. First things first, you want to be able to push the opponent far enough into their power meter to guarantee they are at three power bars at the end of your SP3, or very, very close. A real easy way to do it is to use your SP1, which will steal the opponent's power, but also it'll steal power on all of your light attacks, which will help you to get to SP3 a little faster, while the aura is active. As you can see here, I'm stealing power on all those light attacks, and right there I'm into my SP3, and the opponent is close to their SP3 as well. So by the end of this SP3, he's definitely going to have three bars of power, and in comes the next part. After your SP3, you have a passive two second stun, which is more than enough to land a seven hit combo, and it must be done in this order. Medium, medium first, because we don't want any light attacks in their draining health before you're ready. Now, if the opponent already didn't have an SP3, these two mediums will help push you right into that. Next, your following five hit combos must begin with light attacks. You don't want to use a power pushing medium on a full power bar, because then the following three light attacks will power drain the defender, however, your remaining medium won't be enough to push the defender into an SP3, or three full power bars. This is important because Doom's SP1's power steal ability is based on completed power bars, so even if the opponent is a hair away from three full power bars, Doom's SP1 will still only take the percentage of two full power bars from the defender, which means you don't get to power steal the max, which would mean two full power bars for you. Take a look. So three light attacks followed by two mediums to push the defender into their three power bars. Now, those light attacks will have stolen enough power to land an SP1 which will steal two max bars of power from the defender. Now, currently you have one Fury and can do some decent damage with that SP2 and it will be unblockable. However, if you want to push beyond, stay where you are and hold block. This is important because the AI is very loose with their specials against Doctor Doom. I mean, even when you're just blocking, they just throw it on out, just all good. And over here, I'm literally holding block, and he's like, nope, you're gonna catch this SP1. So it can be rather frustrating to push them where you need to be. Which is why the pink berry, block berry, block block parry, whatever thing is the way to go. Can we as a community just decide on a name? How about Pinkberry? Can we just call it Pinkberry? Now trying to walk up to them and bait out a parry is pretty hit or miss and quite annoying. So hold block, take the first medium and parry the second attack. From there, because you have that perfect block synergy, you can land two mediums followed by three lights and two mediums. Now personally, I like to land two mediums three lights and one medium followed by a heavy attack which will automatically stun because you have a shock debuff. Now I do it this way because it guarantees max damage, max power, and it drops a stagger on the opponent and if there was a stagger already there it's a guaranteed crit with Diablo on the team. Now as you come out of the SP3 you do the same rotation, medium medium to three lights to two mediums followed by SP1. 
From there, you launch that unblockable SP2 and watch the fireworks set ablaze. Ooh, look at those incinerates flow. From here, it's just a big congratulations. You've now mastered the two fury rotation of Dr. Doom. Now, some cool bonuses on this is if you have Diablo or Nihilus on the team, after that SP2, if you land a heavy attack on a staggered opponent, well, you can do some pretty disgusting backhand slap critical damagerie. That's right, damagerie. It's a very fitting backhand slap for the ruler of Latveria. So let's have one more look at this whole thing. So I got that beginning parry, and I got my 7-hit combo, ending it with a heavy attack, and I'm going to use my pink berry here and get another 7-hit combo. Okay, finishing off with another heavy attack, boom, another pink berry, and at this point I'm going to use my SP1 to steal that power so that I can get to my SP3 real fast. 7 hit combos are in effect, finishing off with that heavy attack so we stagger and also have shock. We're gonna do 7 hit combos here, we're basically 7 hit comboing everywhere. Now we just stole those full 2 bars of power for ourselves off the SP1 and we're waiting and we land that pink berry, we're going for another 7 hit combo, finishing off with the heavy attack into SP3, we are now into SP3 number 2 and we have those 2 stacks, we go through our rotation, 7 hit combo, launch the SP1, get our 2 bars of power and immediately launch that devastating SP2, look at that damage, look at that incinerate, and we have done it, another pink berry just for the heck of it, 7 hit combo, landing it down with a heavy attack, and we're just not quitting, we're gonna launch another SP2 here shortly, and finish off the whole thing, bam bam bam, launch, and this is over. Look, I ain't gonna lie, it's not the fastest way to take down Winter Soldier, but this is probably one of the most fun ways to take him down. It's such a pleasure to actually get this down and do it consistently, and uh, I think you're gonna be pretty hooked on it. Now, personally, I think it's not really fair to single out any one single special attack, because the way Doom works is it's a whole unit. So from that SP3 into a combo because of that two second passive stun into the SP1 into an unblockable SP2, it's just one unit and one big combo. So let's take a look at that total damage. So first things first, we got 37,731 for the SP3, we get a crit attack on the medium, and we get some regular attacks on the rest of the combo, dropping in shock at 439 per tick times 4, finishing off with a critical attack medium with another set of shock into our SP1 which we didn't land any critical attacks, but that's okay. We go right into our SP2, we get a crit on the first strike, second strike is a regular attack, then the first beam is a massive 24,000 critical attack followed by two regulars and we are ticking 21 ticks of incinerate at 2455 and that gives us a grand total of 194,986. Now, bonus, if you get to land those heavy attacks with those guaranteed crits, you're going to be hitting for 26,000 and 29,000 on this case because we had a crit and we are in assassin range. Now that particular grand total is 250,374 damage. It's a bit of a ramp up, but that's a hell of a payoff. Now one of my favorite places to try this out is in variant 3.1.2 up against that all or nothing Hyperion, he is a pain in the butt. Now you will have 50% less attack, but if you have a maxed out Doctor Doom, you know 565 or a 235, it really is a lot of fun. Check it out, we go through pretty much the same process except at the beginning here I make sure that I land a stagger so that he doesn't get power gain faster than I want him to. From there, I bait out his heavy, I jump on in, I land that SP1, steal that two bars of power from myself, and I do my little pink berry right here, bam, seven hit combo, right into SP3 right after that heavy attack. So he has another stagger set, so if he does try to get power gain, it's over. And here we are again here, 7 hit combo right into SP1, getting right to our SP2, another pink berry, 
And a seven hit combo right into our SP3. Now I did miss the stagger on that one, but that's okay, because it's not really going to matter at this point. We're seven hitting our way into the win. We get the SP1, steal those two bars, and immediately launch that SP2. Bam, 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 and it is over. And that's where the satisfaction really sets in because you end this particular match. Anyway, guys, that is the amazing rotation of Dr. Doom. I hope you enjoyed, and if you do like the video, go ahead and click subscribe, click like, leave a comment, share it with your friends, share it with your mama, all that stuff helps me out. And remember, stay dorky, and I'll catch y'all on the flip. Oh, Potamus. Take a lesson. Learn it all.